Hey, John Cristani here, online marketer and tech entrepreneur, and I'm gonna be going over what is prospecting sales and how do you do it in this lesson. Now, I've done a lot of sales in my time. My first job ever was actually doing sales. And I'm gonna be talking about prospecting, which is the very basic thing. It's getting leads. And what the definition of prospecting is, if you actually just wanna look it up, is when you make outbound calls or send emails, to basically find leads, to find people who are interested to create opportunities for yourself. Prospecting is the first step. Generally, it goes, the way things go is you do, you prospect for a lead, you find, you, you find somebody who's interested, which is called a lead, and then that lead is pitched or sent to a closer to close a deal, right? So we have the three stages of sales here and everything starts with getting, finding people that are interested. Everything starts with finding people that are interested in talking to you and eventually buying the product or service. And what I'm going to be going over in this video is what sales prospecting is, how to do it, how I would go about it, how I've gone about it to be much more effective than what they traditionally teach you in sales organizations. So let's get into it. Now, generally how sales prospecting is done is sales reps will send out a bunch of emails or a bunch of calls to find people who are interested in their product or service. So let's say I was selling nut butter, <laughs> you know, I would just call up a bunch of people and say, hey, you know, you interested in getting more fats in your diet? You know, and I get no, 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 no. And I get a couple people on the keto diet like I am that are like, yeah, that's prospecting. Call a hundred people, find the few people who are interested in nut butter, right? Now, that's, I think that's a highly ineffective way to go about prospecting. That's what's taught in most sales organizations, the way to go about prospecting. Let me know, by the way, if you work in sales, type in I work in sales. And, uh, but I, and I'd also love to hear if you type also, how do you do prospecting? How do you get leads? Does the company just give them to you? Or do you do your own prospecting? Now, the way I would go about it to do sales prospecting is first off, I would talk to the other salespeople and I'd figure out what everybody else is doing for prospecting. Are they using the leads that the company is giving them? Are they doing their own prospecting? How do they go about it? I talked to a lot of salespeople and I'd also talk to the salespeople, the other people in the organization you're working with or that are out, outside salespeople that are selling on their own. I talked to them and then ask them information about the customer, the people who end up buying. I ask them, tell me about some of your deals. Tell me about the people. What are they interested in? Are they interested in fishing? I'd get into everything. What sort of car do they drive? What do they watch? What'd you talk about? I get whatever information I could glean from other salespeople about how they prospect and also who buys. And I talk to preferably the top salespeople. And I try to get a dip, I try to understand what the top salespeople are doing that's working so well. Are they doing something different with prospecting or are they not? I'd also talk to the weaker salespeople and ask how they're prospecting. Now, I'm sure I'd be surprised by the results. I'm sure some salespeople, they don't prospect, they just use the company's leads and they're just better at sales than the next guy. Other people, they, you know, might have a really interesting system for finding out interesting in people that will become leads. Doesn't matter, talk to the salespeople, talk to other people selling the same product you are. And for those of you that follow me in affiliate marketing, the prospecting is very similar to targeting. Talk to other affiliates if you can. Do competitive research. Figure out your customer. Now the next step I would do is I'd get really creepy. Super creepy. I'd get unbelievably creepy. But And I'd go direct to the source. I'd look at, I'd figure out the people who have bought whatever you're selling. I don't care if you're selling Salesforce or if you're selling kitchen appliances or if you're selling interior decorating, you know, consultations. Get creepy. The people who are actually buyers, the people who are actually using the product or service, I'd look at their Facebook profile. I'd look at their Instagram profile. I'd look at their, you know, I'd, I'd look them up on Google. I'd look them up on everything that I possibly could. I'd look up where they live. I'd Google their address. I'd Google their phone number. I'd see if their phone number correlates to the place they live or if maybe their phone number is from another state and they move. I'd go on Facebook. I'd look at their interests. I'd look at what they've liked. I'd look at what they watch. I'd look at what videos they've watched recently. I'd look at everything about the person. I'd, 
I'd reverse engineer what age they were. I try to find where they went to high school. I want to know everything about the customer. Okay. Everything about the customer. And I do this for many customers. If you work for a sales company or if you do marketing, get creepy on your customers. Okay. Get creepy folks. Seriously, because the creepier you get, the more information you'll learn about your customer. You'll start learning things that other salespeople don't know. You'll start learning about what events they attend. You'll start learning what things do your customers have in common and what don't they have in common. Maybe all of your customers have some weird interest. Maybe they're all survivalists, right? Maybe all of your, all of the people who buy the product you have are randomly, but just complete coincidence, gun owners or business owners or you know, they're all from a certain background or they're all immigrants. Whatever it is, get creepy on your customers. Know the customers more than anybody else in your organization. Because once you start connecting the dots, you can do a lot of things. You can, you can work in certain things in your sales pitch. Let's say all of, most of your customers were born in the 50s. Talk about disco, right? Talk, because all of, if, if your customers were born in the 50s, they probably like disco. It reminds them of their, their younger days. So now you know, talk about disco, talk about Led Zeppelin, talk about stuff like that, right? Or you could, you know, you have, so you have conversation topics. You also have targeting topics. You also have a better feel of if somebody is going to eventually be a buyer. So get super creepy. Number three is I would buy lists, okay? So I, I am not afraid to buy lists, to buy data, to get more information, to get leads that are better than other people's leads. If I, for instance, know that all of my customers, all the people that buy products from the company I work for are, you know, six, 70 year old Republican seniors living in non-coastal states, then I have a much better idea of who I should be talking to than the next guy. And I'm able to do a lot better business. So get creepy buy lists. And as always, the way I would go about prospecting is just try out new things. Always be trying out new things. Okay. Cause you never know if you don't just go next. I would say always test, test new messaging and also measure everything you do. So if you talk to a hundred people, from that are, let's say, Republican seniors and 100 people that are Democratic seniors, you'll get a good sense and feel of what market works better, okay? And that'll help you get more sales, it'll help you get better leads, it'll help you work better areas, instead of just going with the leads or the lists that your company gives you. Know the customer better than anybody else and you will succeed. If you'd like to learn more about how to do marketing, how to make money, how to do sales, check out my, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I talk about this every single day, literally five days a week. Give it a subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're aware of my question and answer sessions. I'm always doing, or I'm sometimes doing question and answer sessions live, but you can only learn about them if you, if you're notified. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions. If this helped out, let me know what helped out the most. Was it the advice on just talking to your fellow salespeople? Was it advice on getting creepy? Or was it advice on buying lists? So let me know in the comments below. Looking forward to speaking to you soon. And if you want to interact with others, feel free in the links in the description. Uh, you could check out my training course and also join one of our communities. We have a Reddit sub forum. We have a Facebook group and we also have a Discord chat channel if you want to talk sales and marketing. Talk to you soon.